Alejandro Mayorkas is now backtracking on his call for an immediate need to construct the border wall and says that the administration's position well, hasn't changed. From day one, this administration has made clear that a border wall is not the answer. The construction project reported today was appropriated, funded during the prior administration in 2019, and the law requires the government to use these funds for this purpose. That's a total walk back. The day before, the, uh, the Homeland Security uh, Office said we need a way to stop the tide, stem the tide. But as the migrant crisis worsens, leading Democrats are now changing their tune. Let's break down a few uh, walls. First off, the federal government. Remember, this was the deal when President Biden took over. He goes, I'm going to stop building the wall. I'm going to stop with these migrant policies that they thought were brutal and, and not fair to people who wanted to come here. What's the result, uh, Lawrence? Yeah, so when you look at it, just for the month of September alone, there's been uh, 260,000 uh, encounters at the border, and that doesn't even include the gotaways. And then when you look at the total overall since Biden took office, there's been over 6.3 million. And here, the, this number 260 in one month, the last year Trump was in office, 400,000 for the year, and Trump thought that was bad. So that's the federal government. Let's move on and talk about what's happening locally in some major cities. For example, as we move on, let's change the board. Here's New York City. New York City has uh, arguably, outside the border cities, Lawrence, has gotten it worse than anybody else. The buses come one, come all in the beginning. The mayor was greeting them. Now not so happy. So he wasn't agreeing them when the Biden administration was sending the planes and he went after the governor of Texas and said, look, we got a big problem here, even though we're a sanctuary city. So the Texas started to send uh, migrants to uh, the city of New York. It's been about one hundred and twenty two thousand migrants there. And Brian, they spent an estimated amount of five billion dollars, 210 on. separate facilities with illegal immigrants, three meals a day. They get their laundry done. They have maid service at the Roosevelt Hotel and every hotel. And people look around and saying, how's that much? How, how are they paying for this? They're not. And what are we paying for this? How about five billion plus and still counting? A desperate mayor tried to get a meeting with the president who was at the United Nations, wouldn't even come and meet with him, or wouldn't even allow him to come meet with the president. And Brian, now he's traveling all over the world now trying to deal with the roof cause, but we were told Kamala Harris was supposed to deal with that when she was named the border czar. Karen Bass became uh, governor over, of Los Angeles, and when the governor of Los Angeles, uh, excuse me, mayor of Los Angeles, decides one thing is for sure, we're going to have our arms outstretched to those one come, come one come all into our community, into our city. So this is what she said. She said uh, the Los Angeles is a city that seeks to treat all people with dignity and compassion. But Brian, that was before the buses started to arrive. They are the capital of homelessness, uh, is the state, but especially Los Angeles. They all over run with it. But now they got illegal immigrants who jump ahead of the homeless in terms of their attention. This is all they got. Since June 14, 770 migrants have been bused. Uh, from Texas to Los Angeles, they have also let their border go wide open. So they give their own people. If you notice, the Democratic governors and mayors don't make necessarily get the publicity because they don't want it. Because the person in charge of this country is a Democrat. But it is bad for the people. So just a portion of what Texas gets in probably just an hour. And they're already ready to declare a state of emergency. Right. And by the way, Massachusetts already did. And I think about those border cities like Tucson, Rio, the Rio Grande Valley, Eagle Pass, who get seven thousand a week. So, Brian, many of the people across the country are saying the Democrats broke it. It's up to them to fix it. Absolutely. Meanwhile, coming up as we move ahead, because immigration is not going to leave our minds, but we're going to have some fun.